the next image is... It's almost right, but not quite. We can't use this. Kept you waiting, huh? Hey everybody, welcome back to Onikemo Gaming, and this is the episode 3 of the Shinigami Run, MGS2. And I have some loose threads on the tanker, so let's go get those loose threads tied up. In this next segment, I'm basically just cleaning up this deck because I want to spawn that one guard that I failed to get the dog tag in episode one for some strange reason. And so now I'm back. I thought I missed that shot at first. Fuck. Um, but now that I'm back in this section on a new save, I can spawn that guard all over again. So the plan here was to put, oh, I guess I did. put both of these guards to sleep, uh, but one woke the other up. So a slight hiccup in the plan. And once I have both of these guards asleep, I'm going to move one out of the way where he's not going to trigger the guard coming up the stairs. So I have a little extra time to work. And then I'm going to go and move the other one back to where he's just slightly in the path of the guard so I can get the drop on him. This should work. <coughs> Got it that time. Well, now I got his dog tag. There's only one thing left to do. Dag on time to go outside in the thunderstorm, man. Go get a, a firearm and we'll see you in the clear, man. And in this next section, I'm just recording the Olga fight again. Nothing really special is happening here, basically just re-showing it because I got this uh, shot on the lamp this time, and I, I did these little pop-out shots here without getting hit, and I just thought it'd be cool to kind of show off uh, a few different ways to sneak some shots in on Olga. It was a little faster this time. I don't think I was outside long enough, so I don't think I'm sneezing right now, which is completely different from the last time. And that works for me. It's time for a little retribution. So I figured out what happened last time, and uh, the guards outside actually got the alert. So I'm going to take care of that real quick. Alright, there should only be like one more guard awake, and he's so far away that if he hears my gunshot... Alright, cool. Now let's wake this guy up. Alright, things are working out. Why the hell is that one not triggering? It really won't trigger. So now we finally enter the holds, and I'm gonna be honest, this section actually took me a couple tries to get the last two dog tags out of here that I needed to get the first time around. Uh, so. I'm in hold one, and I decide to just try a little strategy where I put the right guards to sleep. And I get myself in this little pickle, and I have to do a little fast thinking, so I equip a box, and I'm holding on by the skin of my teeth here. But it just barely works out, 
this guy turns around. I didn't think that was actually going to happen because I got spotted there a couple times before practicing that. The next guy that we got to get is this guy right up here. And he can be a little bit difficult because in this room, the projector will go from left to right and therefore the guards, every single Marine in this room will turn from left to right in a synchronization. If you go at the wrong time or get a little impatient, it can turn out pretty poorly. So here I had to use a lot of patience and then finally be able to grab the guy and sneak him into a place where I can have just a couple minutes alone with him and get the job done. And then I need to actually make my way across the north side of this room because you can't get to the next guy across the south side of this room. So to get across the north side of the room safely, I put a, pretty much everyone in the front row to sleep. Then to get over to this set of crates and use a knock to lure this guard over. But there's a little problem. Uh, he didn't actually come as far back as I would have liked him to, and he almost gets out of my grasp. And things get a little tight here because Commander Dolph decides it's time for at least another break. Everyone looks in my general direction, and I thought somebody was going to come and investigate for sure. But we just barely get back here in time, and nothing bad happens. So I hold up this Marine. He gets all frightened, but his face and mouth doesn't move, so that's a little off-putting. That's okay. That's, that's the final dog tag. That should be all of them. I don't give a flying fox. All right, 100%. We got Olga. And then we've killed everyone else. <laughs> as long as they weren't a Marine. Um, but yeah, if... They had a dog tag and they were not a marine or Olga, we took their lives. So, we have completed the tanker chapter of the Shinigami run. Next time, we'll be doing plant. Hey y'all, it's your boy Acidic. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed the content, then please, you know, do all the stuff that the YouTube beggars beg you to do when you watch their YouTube videos. If you didn't like the content, then, you know, leave me a comment. Tell me what you do want to watch. Uh, tell me what you're into, and maybe we can meet someone in the middle. If you want to support the channel, that'd be mega awesome. Please hit up the Patreon. Any support would be appreciated. I'm trying to do my own thing. I'm trying to put up some videos, try to be somewhat successful, and, you know, if I could spend more time doing this and less time, you know, working for people who don't appreciate me, then that'd be cool, too. So, take it easy.